Shanling is out with a new product and I may be surprised with this new release because they, it's not a product that I have known them to technically release. Most of the time they, they stick to IEMs, they stick to DAX, even digital audio players, that's what they do. But they've released a brand new CD player now. This is the EC3. It's out. It's a top loading compact player with a new design. It really has a very unique new design. It's coming with uh, a DAC inside. It's coming with the ESS, ESS DAC. You're yeah, looking at the ESS 9219C DAC chip in here. It's built really, really well. It has a very, very uh, premium design to, to, it, to, to its build. It supports DSD 512. You're looking at it coming with Bluetooth 5.0. It has the, the support for apps. At least it, it can work with its app. It's a very compact uh, CD player. I like what I'm seeing, but you know, it's all about how it sounds and how it performs. Because the company, they, they are really delving into so many products now. They, they want to be known for making so many products so they, they want to be very consistent with many products that they are producing um, I, I respect them for, for, for doing that because uh, many companies don't try to make cut up type of products but they do they do push themselves and, uh, and I do appreciate that so it's a top loading CD drive that's that has a top level performance of it, obviously but it's not a very cheap cd player that's one thing for for certain you have to pay a lot of money for for it you're looking at 600 dollar cd player around 600 plus dollar cd player it's not cheap by any means so you have to have the finances to be able to 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 afford this this type of player but once you do buy it you definitely get your money's worth that's what you 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 have to look out for uh, if you end up getting it, you have to to understand that you're going to get good value for, for your money. And in terms of specification, it, it only drains around 15 watts from your socket. Uh, it does have a very light weight, like it weighs only just 2.4 kg. It has very light weight. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people have issue moving this around. Uh, it works really, really well uh, with any... Uh, if you want to hook it up to an amplifier, it works really, really well with any amplifier. It does have a signal to noise ratio of 116 uh, decibels. Dynamic range is 116 decibels. It, it's, uh, it does have, um, uh, now, it, it does have a headphone output. So if you hook up your headphone, it delivers 20 milliwatts into 32 ohms. Uh, in high gain mode, and that's if you if you are in low gain mode. But if you if you turn it to high gain mode, you get 70 milliwatts, which I think a lot of people will be fine with. Um, it, it does have a very very good uh, distortion level. You're you're, you're not going to get much distortion out of this model as well. So you can use it uh, with a lot of things you know that's something a lot of people will uh, look at and consider before they go out to purchase uh, the product so I'm going to drop details uh, in the description if you want to have a look and see if it's a product that uh, will intrigue you to have in your collection so do check it out subscribe to the channel like our content I'll see you guys very much next time